Hey guys, it's going attack and welcome to RuneScape Lore 101 or whatever I end up calling the series. In this series I decided to give you guys a little look on the lore of RuneScape. For those of you who might not know just what the hell happened in RuneScape. So, my PowerPoint is ridiculously fucked up, so this happens. Don't worry about this too much. The formatting is a bit bad in this slide. It's just this slide, so I don't know what happened with it. But anyway, in this video we're going to be talking about the first stage. So, first of all, some quick start lore guide for RuneScape. Uh, some things you might already know, you probably already know, but if you're completely new to the lore, this will be a little... It's just a few facts for you guys. So, Gilinor is the RS world. We're going to be referring to the world that RS is set in as Gilinor. This is important because there are more uh, worlds than just Gilinor, and we're going to talk about that later. But, Gilinor is the world where RuneScape is set in, and we're going to be mostly talking about that. Uh, so, another thing is that gods are powerful but defeatable. As we saw in the world events, which are an amazing thing with the lore, I love that Jagex did them. Uh, we saw that Bandos was actually killed, I think. I'm not sure if he was killed. I wasn't at the world event, so don't blame me. Gilinor wasn't created by Gothics. Gothics was the first god, and he was the first in Gilinor. He brought all the races to Gilinor, but he did not create it. Okay, it says a, it says so uh, in some in-game text, if I'm not mistaken, and also in the RS wiki. Uh, Gilinor was merely discovered by Gothics. And yes, Gothix is now dead, and yes, there are more gods than Saradome and Zamorak, Armadil and Bandos that you all know from God Wars. So, let's jump right in. So the first stage is referred to as the Age of Creation. This is like the only picture that I can find on the internet of the first stage. If you want to watch uh, the video by RuneScape, you know, the Quick Start Lore Guide, or I don't know, whatever they call it, you know, just a little overview of RuneScape history. There are some images from that video uh, that are actually of the first stage. They're mostly of the Elder Gods, and I'm not going to be talking about the Elder Gods all that much because they're not all that significant to, um, to what we're going to be talking about in this episode. So the Age of Creation was a period, time period, between year 1 and year 4000. Get used to the markings of Y, 1 to Y, X, you know, is uh, basically the duration. So, the, the major events. Of course, it all started in year 1, you know, where we start uh, recording history of Gilinor, where Guthix discovers Gilinor and brings various races through uh, to Gilinor uh, through the World Gate. Now, what is the World Gate? If I'm not mistaken, I do have a slide on that later, although I might not. So, let's just elaborate on what the World Gate is. For those of you who have not done the world, uh, the Fate of the Gods quest, including me, the World Gate is some sort of portal. Uh, the portal has some sort of a dial where you can input certain letters in the ancient alphabet. Don't know what it's called, it's just the ancient alphabet to me. Um, and you will go to a different world uh, depending on it. The code for Gilinor is G, oh my god. And uh, it is uh, also... Yes, of course, Gilinor was supposedly completely barren when Guthix found it, and he led all the races to it. As you can see in the picture here, this is what Gilinor looks like during the first stage. You can see some settlements forming, etc. And flying islands and shit. Why don't we get flying islands, Jagex? So, the second major thing that happened is uh, that Saren, the second god to arrive, and Gilinor uh, actually arrives and leads the elves through the world gate from a different dimension. It is important to say a little bit about Saren. Uh, Saren uh, was actually, I would say, a bit more influential than Guthix. Guthix did not actually like create a lot of stuff. He mostly, you know, motivated the people to do the work. And Saren actually just went ahead and did like, boom! Here's a huge crystal tower. Enjoy yourselves and replicate this, please. So I don't know. I personally think that. Uh, Saren's arrival was a good thing because it brought, like, you know, elves and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. The World Gate is opened all during the first stage, and it is sealed at the end of it, which is... Uh, actually, not at the end of it, not right at the end of it, but during the second age, it is sealed. So, let's not worry about the World Gate, because the World Gate is a complicated thing. And since it's reopening right now, uh, it yeah, it's pretty complicated to deal with. And this is why I make these videos, because there are many confusing things in RuneScape, which I want to elaborate on. So the too long didn't read 
description of this is basically elves, humans, the world game, Priftinus. Priftinus is the is like the oldest city in Gilinor. It's the, one of the first to be created, and it still stands. Uh, as we know, many of the ancient cities have fallen. For example, the city of Seniston, and you know all these others. Actually, no, Seniston didn't fall. Or did it? Yeah, Seniston fell. Seniston fell. Good. <laughs> I remember where Seniston is. Um, so another really important uh, thing that happened uh, was the Gothic created runestones. What are runestones? Runestones are the air runes, the mind runes, the body runes, the death runes, the blood runes, and stuff. He used the Stone of Jass to create this, and it is kind of hard to describe the Stone of Jass. Because it's such an unknown thing, and we haven't uh, seen it a lot, uh, the main like reference to it in-game is the Fist of Gothics, because it is kind of... The fist of God. He, ugh, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna com like compose my thoughts and tell you what the Stone of Jass is. Okay, folks, we're ready to talk about the Stone of Jass. The Stone of Jass uh, was created by the Elder Goddess of Time, Jass. I'm not gonna talk about the Elder Gods now. I'm gonna make a separate video for the Elder Gods because it is a huge topic and it's so controversial and everything. It's just, it's like debating between Buddhism and Christianity. It's just, it's huge. It's its really a huge debate. But, uh, what actually is <laughs> stated on the wiki, I've actually looked on the wiki to compose my thoughts a bit more, it is actually a hard-boiled egg. What the hell? What it basically says is, let me quote on RS Wiki right now. Quoting RS Wiki, if my page would load. Uh, here we go. The Stone of Jass was the first of the twelve ancient Elder Artifacts once owned by the Elder Gods. It was created by Jass, Elder Goddess of Time, and the most powerful of the Elder God Quinte. By altering, or hard-boiling, one of her eggs and imbuing it with her power, source needed. So yeah, citation please, senpai. Because if that thing, that thing you can see in the middle of this, by the way, is the Stone of Jass, if that is a hard-boiled egg, then I, I don't know, I... I don't even know, but uh, this is actually Gothic's, you know, uh, he discovered a lot of these uh, artifacts because the gods, the other gods, at some point they just abandoned all their worlds that they created and they were just like, nah, fuck that, and they left behind all those artifacts. Uh, Gothic's actually uh, hid slash banished slash didn't use most of these artifacts uh, apart from the sword, the other artifact sword, he used that to create a world gate, and this is the second one he used, and he used it really abundantly, which is really... Uh, interesting because the Stone of Jazz um, was used more than any of the Elder Artifacts and was created for the major thing that we, we need to know now. We don't really need to know more about it other than that it was used to create runestones. Runestones allowed, of course, their wielders or, you know, the people who had them to cast magical spells and a lot of them. So, as you can see, there are the runes on the picture there. Uh, the image is from the quest meeting history. If you have not yet done the quest meeting history, I would strongly recommend to do it. It's free prairie XP, and it's a really, really nice quest. Uh, so, the world of Gelenor has been dubbed RuneScape, the game name, because of the abundance of runestones. As you can see highlighted, RuneScape. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if it's RuneScape or runes, RuneScape, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever. So anyway, let's go back to the major events. Uh, Gothics then, at the end of the age really, uh, he decides to take a nap for 6,000 years. Just to wake up and die. I mean, that that's one hell of a nap. One hell of a nap. So, let's talk about some alternate records. Um, <laughs> this is... Uh, this is interesting. Um, when I first looked into the into the uh, lore, when I read all like all of the lore for the first time, uh, this was actually not on the page uh, on our wiki. This is a relatively new thing in my opinion uh, because I read pre-release of the Queen Black Dragon, which is the main kind of like catalyst to this because of uh, the books she drops, etc. So the theory is proposed in the Book of Folklore. Uh, let me actually check if it is an in-game item. But um, basically what it implied is that the Elder Dragons were uh, created like 
Mm, how should we call it? The Elder Dragons were created to live alongside and you know protect Gilnor, whatever. They were just supposed to be alongside with the with Gilnor. Um, how would we call it? Mm, they were like tied with the energy of Gilnor. They were the life force. That's the word for it. They were like tied with the life force of Gilnor, which means if all the Elder Dragons died, Gilnor would die as well. Now. Honestly, what I would think why this why this, this theory is bullshit in my opinion is because, in theory, because if they're tied with their uh, life energy of the world, the less the Elder Dragons, respectively, the more Elder Dragons dead, the weaker the world should be. And that has not happened, and so it is bullshit. As you can see, it's highlighted there in a separate bullet point. It's bullshit. So, uh, in reality... Uh, the Elder Dragons are merely the first dragons to have existed. And there is only one known at the moment, uh, which is the QBD. So, um, another thing about the Elves and the Siren, and Siren, I think I already touched on this, but Priftinus is the oldest city in Gilnor currently. Um, yeah, it is. Okay, I was thinking about uh, the temple, you know, uh, in the Temple of Senistan quest, the temple you go to in the ice... ice I think it's Driak. I don't know. I don't remember the name by heart yet. And uh, this is, was created at the well, nearly the very start of the first age, uh, with Saren creating the Tower of Voices in Isfadar out of crystal. And uh, it is the oldest standing city in Gilmer, which is quite a feat actually. And we only got to see it this year, like what was it, two weeks ago? I don't know. But yeah, it's ridiculous that we've played this game for so many years without seeing the most ancient city in Gilmer. So anyway. Let's touch on in-game access to the first age. This is actually really funny because there's not going to be anything like this in the other ages videos, but you actually get to go into this first age. Uh, it's during the quest meeting history. Uh, you only need one quest. No, you need two quests to complete this, which is the making history quest and the druidic ritual. Making history, if I'm not mistaken, requires a restless ghost, and that's about it. These quests were brilliant. They're one of my favorite quests in the game, surpassed only by Summer's End. And I'm yet to do uh, the Temple at Seniston, which I think will be a quest to beat these all. But, meeting history quest takes you to Ardoin during the first stage. Uh, Ardoin. Yeah, let's let's just take a moment to uh, realize that the word Ardoin, 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 is actually pronounced Ardoin, rhyming with coin. Really, Jagex? Really? Oh, well. Well, uh... The first stage, you get to meet people, as you can see in the slide with the Stone of Jazz. This is actually an image from the quest. There you can see one NPC, Jack, uh, you, who explains some stuff to you. Basically, uh, during the quest, you visit uh, two times in the past, uh, point A and point B. Point A is just somewhere in time. It's just a random point uh, right after the humans arrived, like, not so far off. I don't know. And I can't remember the direct like time it sends you to. It, I bet it's mentioned somewhere, and you can find it if you play the quest, but hey. And the point B is uh, 20 years later, and you basically help a family uh, like survive in the new harsh world of Gilinor or something. It's really nothing grand of a quest, but the lore, it's just... There's so many references in everything. There's actually a quite funny reference to like when you examine the trees in point B, I think it is. You get a reference to a Monty Python uh, comedy sketch, and it's just... It really is a quest worth playing. It's It's got really nice uh, descriptions of everything that happened during the first stage. And that about wraps it up for me, folks. This video is around 14 minutes long, which is quite nice for these. I don't want to keep them too long, but once again, I don't want to keep them, like, too short to just... I want to do some, like, talking, uh, because this is really... a uh, interesting thing runescape's lore is really uh, it's one of the lores that i'm really fanatically obsessed with because it is really interesting so in the next video i might talk about the elder gods or well with more higher like um the higher i i I'm, I'm at loss for the english word well it's it's basically more probable that i will do a video on the second age so the second age is going to be the age of zaros and we're going to touch on my favorite god zaros so yeah, subscribe if you want to know. Ah, man, I can't write. Come on. Oh, what a bugger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit. Let's pretend this never happened. Let's pretend this never happened.
So basically, subscribe to be notified when the next video is out, and like the video if you'd like to show me that you want more. If you have anything you want to ask, just ask in the comment section below. Um, before uh, asking a question, if it's something painfully obvious, uh, you might want to read the RS Wiki first, uh, if you want to. The RS Wiki page is, well, runescape.wikia.com slash wiki slash first age. Really, just look through there. If you want to know anything more about the lore before my next video comes out, RS Wiki is your friend. There's a lot of stuff on RS Wiki. And also, I would suggest you check out some of the forum posts about lore, because many people actually post really interesting things there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, back out.